My name is Sarah Yor Van Osterhout. I am the founder and managing attorney of Lighthouse Immigrant Advocates. And today I am sharing a story as part of our Strength and Stories event. Uh, for those of you who have been following us for a few years, you know that this is our opportunity to showcase and celebrate the stories of our clients um, and uh, celebrate in those triumphs. And so to kick it off this year, we thought we would showcase Lighthouse's story. Um, and to do that, I think it's important to understand my why, how I got into this work as the founder of the organization. So I got started uh, working as a social worker. I have a bachelor's degree in social work in Spanish. And my first placement was at Cherry Street Clinic working with, um, with uh, women at various stages in pregnancy and um, most of my clients were Spanish speaking and most of those women were undocumented and so as I got to know those women I also got to know their stories and um, the challenges that they were facing and one of the biggest challenges was their undocumented status. Um, it is very difficult to be undocumented in the United States and I learned that a lot of them um, had experienced domestic violence, sexual assault, trafficking. A lot of their pregnancies came about as a result of sexual assault. And I kept asking myself, like, surely there's got to be more out in the community. What more can be done? And I'd ask my supervisors and no one really had any idea what, what more existed for these women apart from the emergency Medicaid and WIC that they were, were receiving. Um, and so that inspired me to dig deeper and find the answers. Um, these women were what drove me through my law school career um, and how I ended up studying immigration law at Michigan State University. And um, after graduating law school, I moved to Mexico for a year and then we moved uh, back to the United States and I began working at the Diocese of Grand Rapids Immigration Legal Services Program um, while also living here in Holland. and. You know, I got to know the Holland community uh, while also working in a community that was re really um, replete with, with nonprofit services for, for immigrants and uh, realizing that that really didn't exist here for, for the Holland or Ottawa County community. And so I began asking questions of nonprofit leadership and community members, um, discovering that really there wasn't anything here and they weren't even sending folks to the diocese where I worked. Um, because they didn't know about it um, and they also felt like it wouldn't be possible anyways because of the travel to Grand Rapids, um, the the driver's license issue for undocumented immigrants, and then also the, the schedule. Like nine to, five, nine to five schedules are very difficult for um, immigrants to to um, work within just because they, they tend to work longer hours and or they work second and third shift. Um, child care issues become an issue and so it was really prohibitive for them to try to make it to Grand Rapids and so um, I partnered with another attorney to open a for-profit law office here and did that for I think our office was open for about 10 months but about six months in is when I started working on opening a nonprofit law office and at first I talked about partnering with other existing nonprofits but they just didn't have the capacity to expand into our area and so with zero dollars in the bank and a recent law grad from Notre Dame, Kylie King, um, as my right hand lady, I opened Lighthouse Immigrant Advocates in November of 2015. Uh, she and I worked for pennies for a couple of years on a shoestring budget. Um, and most would say like, we, our budget was tiny, but our impact was mighty. Um, over those those first few years and now we are a thriving staff of eight. We're diverse and um, setting examples for um, uh, DEI work and DEI employment practices um, uh, across the county. I'm really proud of the organization that we've become and the work that we're doing. Um, and I have a lot of people asking me why Lighthouse? Um, so my dad, who's no longer with us, he passed away a couple years ago, he was the inspiration behind the name. Um, he was an old man who was always fascinated with the nautical um, and particularly lighthouses. And for him, lighthouses represented a, um, a light in the darkness. He was a recovered alcoholic or recovering alcoholic, he would say. 
Um, and so for him, it was a beacon of hope and something that lit the way home. And so when I was opening this organization or trying to you know, envision a name and identity for it, he said, well, why don't you call it Lighthouse? Um, and I thought that was perfect because that's what we do. We seek to be a beacon of hope for members of our community and um, help to light the way home for them. Um, we hope that um, through the work that we're doing in some small way, we are helping people to find a home and find stability and thrive in West Michigan. And so that's why we're a lighthouse and that's why um, I got into this work and I hope you will continue to follow this event and um, celebrate these amazing stories and the transformative impact that our work continues to have on the West Michigan community.